more than 40 years, defence and security matters have been excluded from European integration. Defence markets have remained outside the single market and have become fragmented along national lines. As a result, most defence and security equipment is procured on the basis of uncoordinated national rules which differ greatly in terms of publication and tendering procedures and selection and award criteria. According to the European Commission, this hampers innovation, competitiveness and efficiency and weakens European security and defence policy. This patchwork of rules is a major obstacle on the road towards a common European defence equipment market and opens the door to non-compliance of EU treaty principles. The European Parliament also sees a number of ongoing weaknesses in the European security and defence policy, such as the lack of an EU civil peace corps, as well as poor civil protection and humanitarian relief capabilities. To overcome existing differences and to pave the way towards the establishment of a common European defence equipment market, the European Commission has come up with a new package of measures. In this context, several EBPED MEPs have organised a hearing on the Commission's defence package, building a European defence equipment market in the European Parliament. The event focused on developing policies that ensure fair and efficient work-sharing arrangements as well as cross-border cooperation on an industry level. The defence package is viewed as a great step forward in terms of achieving the single market and preserving and improving the competitiveness of the European defence industry. The event was introduced by Charlotte Schederscholt, EPPED spokesperson on public procurement, Carl von Vogel, MEP, Chairman of the Subcommittee on Security and Defence, Andrea Schwab, Vice Coordinator of the Internal Market Committee, Jacques Toubon and Nikolai Mladenov, as well as representatives of industry and academia. Charlotte Sederscholt underlined that this public hearing deals with very sensitive issues. Uh, that's why we have this hearing, to learn more of the experts, but also uh, through that knowledge, uh, be more able as politicians to find the right lines where we can increase efficiency in um, defense equipment uh, without uh, going into national decisions. According to Andreas Schwab, we have established a good basis for a common defense procurement market and the EPPED wants to strengthen this process as much as possible. But there are still things to do. We have to convince the member states that it's in the interest of all citizens to have a cheaper defense procurement because uh, um, the United States of America spent only the half of the amount of money for defense that we spent, but we don't have half of the outcome that the Americans have. So there is a lot of money to be spared, and uh, the European Popular Party wants to bring up that process as strong as possible. Nikolai Mladenov believes that many small and medium-sized countries in Europe are not able to sustain the necessary requirements for ensuring their own research and development and production activities, and therefore cooperation is needed. And currently many countries use offset policies and other means of cooperation to ensure that there's a fair distribution of uh, information of, of uh, uh, production uh, and of employment across Europe. Uh, what I believe is very important is to consider uh, uh, fair procurement as an opportunity for companies to compete fairly across the European markets uh, in, a, in a very transparent way, which is a proposal of the Commission, which needs to be enhanced, and that will ensure actually that there's a fairer distribution of resources, of employment, and of security of supply across the continent. Security is what Europeans want, added Karl von Vogau, chairman of the Subcommittee on Security and Defence. Uh, I think the most important thing people expect from the uh, European uh, community is security. And therefore I think uh, that in the centre of what we are doing now and in the future, uh, we have to have security uh, and the common security and defence policy. Giving a boost to European security and defence policy remains high on the agenda of the forthcoming French presidency, where the potential for progress to be made is great. This goal is vital, considering new emerging threats, such as illegal immigration, climate change, non-proliferation and cyber defence. 
This programme was brought to you by the press service of the EPPED group, the largest political group in the European Parliament. For more information, check out our website, epp-ed.eu. See you again soon.